Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 GM Mode series, and specifically our Great American Bash pay-per-view episode of the series. Quickly, before we get into this episode, let's take a quick look at what we did last time on the go-home to, um, to, to, to the pay-per-view on the a July 26th edition of SmackDown. Um, just, just, just I get, before we even do that, you know, before we like fully get into everything um this is the first time i am recording this series since i think april 4th it's may 25th as i'm recording it right now i'm kind of out of the loop a little bit i remember what i did like all my booking and stuff it's just it's been um so long since i've sat down and recorded stuff uh it, it's um awkward so if if i'm like stumbling more than usual because i'm fucking i'm dumb as shit brother i stumble anyways even when i'm in the in in the swing of things but i've been out of the swing of things life been really busy that's not important uh but yeah so if i if i stumble more often than usual there you go that's why it's because uh fucking nearly two months that i haven't done this shit okay so um Charlie Hoshin and Benjamin beat La Resistance to earn themselves a shot at the tag team titles on the Great American Bash pay-per-view. Uh, this was a fatal four-way. RVD, Rey Mysterio, Tajiri, and Paul London. Uh, in the gameplay, obviously, we made it a 301 because... Um you know, might as well boost three at the expense of one instead of boosting one at the expense of three, like a Fatal 4-Way would do in the gameplay. Tajiri was also very low. Um, he was 20, I think, 21, something like that. Um, and and I didn't want to give him, you know, a loss as a result of a Fatal 4-Way loss. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Just get three of them up. Paul London's the highest of the people that I'm willing to drop, which was him and Tajiri. Um, so, you know, might as well fucking uh, boost them up. Rob Van Dam is the winner of this match, though, and he earns himself a Cruiserweight Championship match against uh, Greg Gregory Helms, not Gregory Helms, sorry, the Hurricane, of course. See, look at that, already, 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 I'm out of it, I'm out of it, but I'm still in it, don't worry. Um, against Hurricane tonight on the pay-per-view, uh, Great American Bash pay-per-view, Cruiserweight Championship match, RVD earned his spot after joining the Cruiserweight division a few weeks prior. Then we had, um, this was a Benoit and uh, Eddie promo segment where... Um, they just said a bunch of shit. I'll recap what they said in the promo segment in the recaps of the matches, I think. Um, just because I don't want to reiterate. If it was a match, I would say it. But it's, this is just a promo and a throwaway match in the gameplay. So I'll just include what was said in this promo in the whole storyline kind of recap that I do uh, for the pay-per-view matches. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, Kurt Angle defeating Randy Orton to earn himself an opportunity at the United States Championship. Ren Rene Dupree was not there um, in, in, in the kayfabe. Uh, in the gameplay, he was there because, you know, we had to advance the rivalry in the game play and that's how you do it in these games but uh yeah randy orton defeats uh sorry kurt angle defeats randy orton earns, earns himself a u.s championship match against renee dupree there's promo stuff with it but we'll get to that in a second uh, we got Edge defeating Chris Jericho in the SmackDown semifinal of the King of the Ring. Muhammad Hassan would have been on commentary to see who he will be facing at the Great American Bash in the SmackDown final uh, before uh, whichever one of these two men win tonight goes on to face the Raw winner, which I have finally decided upon. I made their bracket. I'll show it in a second uh, when we get to that. Uh, but Edge defeats Chris Jericho to advance to the SmackDown final tonight against Muhammad Hassan, meaning he will be pulling double duty tonight as he is the tag team champion with um, with Christian, of course. So he will be defending his tag titles and also uh, having having this match in the King of the Ring against Muhammad Hassan. Him and Muhammad Hassan would have stared down after the match. And then in the, um, that was the gameplay, like the, that was the match main event of the evening. But to end off the show, we had an Undertaker and Christian contract signing, um, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, Christian and Undertaker contract signing for Great American Bash. Undertaker, of course, earning himself a world title opportunity against Edge way back when. We'll get to that in a second. Um, Hurricane was just kind of left over on the card. Hurricane would have been a commentary for the Fatal 4-Way. I forgot to mention that. Uh, but in the gameplay, he was left over, so he uh, took a handicap loss so he could build both Undertaker and Christian's popularity in the gameplay uh, and advance the rivalry and all that shit while doing the contract signing in the kayfabe. So, that was our go home. We got a two star show despite. Ooh, we got a little bit robbed there, brother. Look at, look, look, look at all this right here. Look at these three stars a two and a half, a two and then a one and a half. You put this half there, boom, two across, and then threes, and then that's a two and a half star show. Uh, my guy. But uh, uh, they did not give us a two and a half star show, unfortunate. So um, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care too much about winning the GM of the year in this game and stuff like that. Um, I did maybe in 2008 and maybe a little bit in 2007, but seeing as this is a continuous universe from 2007, I kind of care more about the story. Storylines and, and the universe and the cave haven stuff. Um, 
So yeah, man, let's take a look at the roster and stuff real quick. Uh, in terms of rivalries, Undertaker and Christian is Gucci. That is not one. This is one. That is not one. Um free agency, I guess, I don't know, just for my own sake, because I can't fucking, um, I can't, I can't remember for the life of me, uh, Danny Basham there, that actually makes sense, uh, we'll get to that in a second, because, uh, don't worry, don't worry about it, um, Current champions are as follows. Will we see any changes in championships tonight? You'll have to wait and see, man. All four of them are being defended, so we'll have to see if there's a title change tonight or not. Um, okay, here we go. Let's do it by popularity. Actually, there's a morale issue. Rob Conway wants um, a title shot. Last championship match never. What the fuck? He had a, he had a tag title match on the fucking first show. What the fuck? Yo, hold on, hold on. You, uh, you, you, you're not cheesing me like this. You're not cheesing me like this, my guy. What the fuck do you think this is down here? You see that name, Rob Eric Conway? You see that fucking tag team championship right there? What the fuck do you think that is? Fucking, I get the fuck out of here telling me you've never had a title shot, you son of a bitch. Fuck you, dude. Fuck your fucking system game. Anyways, uh, he wants a title shot, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, not tonight, um, but uh, at some point, maybe maybe on the next SmackDown or something. I don't know. He went straight to Unsatisfied as well, which does not uh, make me feel too good. In terms of popularities, we got Christian up in an 87. We got Rene Dupree, 83. We got Kurt Angle, 82. Undertaker, 82. Eddie Guerrero, 77. Edge, 75. Benoit, 72. Jericho, 71. Muhammad Hassan, 71. Randy Orton, 66. RVD, 61. Hurricane, 60. Rob Conway, 60. Rey Mysterio, 58. Sylvain Grenier, 58. Cosmo Devari, 54. Shelton Benjamin, 53. Paul London, 46. Charlie Haas, 37. Tajiri, 22. Um, in terms of fatigue, we don't got any. We got uh, two people pulling double duty tonight, so there will be some fatigue after tonight. Um, and then uh, in terms of contracts, we just got a few renew renewing here. Look at this, 6, 9, 69 got him. I'm very immature. So um, we'll renew one of these guys probably after the next SmackDown, I think is what we'll do. Um, and then and then we'll get back to renewing them on three-month intervals so we can kind of stay ahead of the curve, so to speak. So um yeah, man. Okay, so I think that's typically all the housekeeping I usually do. So uh, I guess we could take a look at what Raw did last week, maybe. I mean, they just did the same shit that they've been doing for fucking four months on repeat. So I know we're not four months in. We are four months in. We're not four months in. Uh, we are... Oh, we are four months in. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. All right. I had it right the first time. Don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and pop up the uh, SmackDown King of the Ring bracket for you on the screen right here um and as you can see Muhammad Hassan versus Edge is the Smackdown final uh this is the progression of the King of the Ring you know what I'm saying uh there you go it's, it's on the screen for you um Edge made it to the final by beating Chris Ben who Chris Benoit who took Eddie's place we'll get to it Randy Orton and then uh, Chris Jericho Muhammad Hassan made it to the final by defeating Rob Van Dam, Charlie Haas, and then Kurt Angle. So uh, both both men uh, defeating formidable formidable opponents in each round to get to the final. Um, and we'll just see who is the better man tonight and becomes King of the Ring uh, SmackDown finalist. And then at SummerSlam, see if they can become the King of the Ring or if the Raw guy will become King of the Ring. Speaking of the Raw guy, I will put up the Raw King of the Ring bracket on the screen right now for you to show you that uh, Batista, maybe at Vengeance or something would have beaten John Cena in the Raw final to uh, to advance this to SummerSlam. So at SummerSlam, we will have Batista versus Edge or Muhammad Hassan. Whoever wins tonight, um, Batista defeating Carlito, Kane, and Triple H. Uh, John Cena defeating, and John Cena, who uh, John Cena defeated uh, fucking JBL, Book, and uh, Shawn Michaels there. Um, the So I basically just try to use the actual Raw roster in the game. The only person I had to cheat with is... Um, uh, one of the Bashams, whichever one's a free agent that we just, I think we, I think Doug was the free agent that we, or Danny, I don't, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. Um, Raw has one of the Bashams, they don't have the other. I just pretended they, that they had both because otherwise I would have been one person short and, you know, it just makes sense. Just put the other Basham on there. They're a tag team. So there you go. So, uh, yeah, man, that's the Raw bracket. You've seen the SmackDown bracket. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, run through the match card, starting with the first match of the evening, which is coincidentally the King of the Ring SmackDown Final Edge versus Muhammad Hassan. Now, um, the the way we got here, like I said, man, uh, you know, 
Edge defeating uh, Chris Benoit um, in Eddie's place, Randy Orton, and then uh, Chris Jericho to get here. Um, Edge had a hell of a road to get here as well, but we'll just recap that in the... Um Undertaker and Christian stuff. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. Uh, Muhammad Hassan, like I said, defeating RVD, Charlie Haas, and Kurt Angle to get here. Uh, Muhammad Hassan has had a bunch of self promos throughout the weeks uh, after falling short against The Undertaker at Judgment Day. He has uh, made it his mission and his goal to redeem himself, to prove himself by winning the King of the Ring. He's gotten to the SmackDown final. Can he make it to the next step to SummerSlam or will he fall short at Edge as a stopping? block you'll have to wait and see and that match starts off the show then in the second match of the evening we have the cruiserweight championship match the hurricane defending his championship against rob van dam uh rob van dam recently joining the cruiserweight division um, a couple weeks ago, starting off with a match against Tajiri, got a win against Tajiri. The next week, got a win against Paul London. And then last week, or on the go-home, sorry, he got that fatal four-way number one contendership win to earn himself a shot against Cruiserweight Champion Hurricane, who, as Gregory Helms at the beginning of the reign, switching into the Hurricane, is coming up on a year as Cruiserweight Champion. If he can survive tonight, if he can defend his championship tonight and hold on to it until August 9th, he will reach one year as the Cruiserweight Champion on Smack down. Uh, Rob Van Dam, of course, a formidable opponent, so we'll have to see if he can successfully defend his Cruiserweight Championship tonight, or if Rob Van Dam will be uh, uh, ending the reign right short of the year mark. I think we're two weeks away or something, or maybe it's the next SmackDown. It's not the next SmackDown. It would be the one after it. Um, so we'll have to see if Hurricane can edge closer to that one year mark, or if he will be stopped short of that one year mark against Rob Van Dam. And then in the third match of the evening, we have the Tag Team Championships on the line as Edge and Christian defend their Tag Team Championships against the world's greatest tag team, representing Team Angle, Charlie Haas, and Shelton Benjamin. Um... Obviously, like I said uh, earlier, Charlie Haas, Shelton Benjamin defeating La Resistance on the go-home to earn themselves the opportunity for the tag titles. This will be Edge's second match of the night after uh, his King of the Ring match against Muhammad Hassan. And this will be Christian's first match of the night. He is also booked for double duty later on, but we'll get to that. Uh, these guys had a tag team championship match at the last pay-per-view with Edge and Christian coming out on top, defending their championships. Will history repeat itself or will the world's greatest tag team be able to learn from their mistakes and win the tag team championships? Stay tuned to find out. And then in the fourth match of the evening, we have Kurt Angle versus Rene Dupree for the United States Championship match. Uh... That was technically grammatically correct, but also not at all. We'll just move past it. So, um, this rivalry started uh, after Great American Bash. This is Great American Bash. After Judgment Day, uh, with Kurt Angle falling short of reclaiming his World Heavyweight Championship in his eyes, of course. In that triple threat match where Christian won the title at Judgment Day. Um... So Kurt Angle wants to uh, wanted to rebound and 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 uh, yeah rebound by winning the King of the Ring. That was his goal. He claimed that Team Angle would dominate the tournament. Charlie Haas would beat Rey Mysterio, and then Shelton Benjamin and Kurt Angle had a couple of French cowards in the bracket that they would get by with ease. Uh, those French quote unquote cowards being Rene Dupree and Sylvain Grenier in the bracket. Um, Sylvain Grenier was partnered up with Kurt Angle and then Shelton Benjamin with Rene Dupree. Kurt Angle also, ex um, you know, expresses his disgust at a Frenchman being the United States Championship in that promo. Uh, that night, I believe Charlie Haas defeated Rey Mysterio to advance in the tournament. Um, so yeah, the next week Rene Dupree is asked about his, um, let me just pull out my book, man, because it's just fucking... This was two months ago, man. I know what I did. It's just, like, the wording and stuff. Let me just pull out my book. Let me just... Let me just pull this... Let me just pull out this book. You know what I'm saying? Let me just pull out this book. Just so I can kind of have, like, a, a, a guideline to my recalling of the storyline that I booked... Um, before I recorded this and then, yeah. So anyways, um, Rene Dupree in a backstage interview the next week uh, was asked about Kurt's comments. Uh, he says that the ignorance of an American is not a surprise to him and he will prove Kurt Angle's ignorance by defeating Shelton Benjamin tonight and he will show that the French are not only better lovers but better fighters. A storyline, uh, a uh, promo line that I stole directly from Rene Dupree who said it in real life when feuding with John Cena in 2004. Uh, Rene Dupree does subsequently beat Shelton Benjamin in the King of the Ring to advance to the next round. Uh, the week after that, Kurt is interviewed about his match in the King of the Ring tournament and what Rene Dupree had to say the week prior. 
And he says that Rene Dupree uh, got lucky against Shelton Benjamin last week, but Kurt Angle will even the score tonight by de- destroying Sylvain Grenier. And then when they uh, when he meets Rene Dupree in the next round of the King of the Ring, Rene's luck will run out, where Kurt will make him surrender, just like the French are known to do. The next week, um, there was a Haas match uh, where he had Muhammad Hassan, um, and then uh, they would have had promos back and forth, or, or Kurt Angle cutting a promo on Dupree saying that uh, uh, next week he will lose just like La Resistance lost tonight. I think they had a match with uh, Eddie and... Um Benoit that night I think is who they lost to that night so there you go then the next week Kurt versus Dupree is scheduled to uh you know happen in the King of the Ring but Dupree withdraws from the match he tells Kurt that due to all the disrespect that Kurt has been dishing out over the recent weeks he does not deserve to share the ring with Rene Dupree sharing the ring with the United States champion with Monsieur Money in the Bank the French phenom is a privilege and Kurt lost that privilege on account of his disrespect however Kurt does deserve a beating on account of his disrespect. And uh, on the topic of disrespect, Rob Eric Conway was disrespected through his omission from the King of the Ring. So he will be taking Rene Dupree's place and beating some respect into Kurt Angle. Um, Kurt Angle ends up winning that match. Um, the GM would have told Rene Dupree, okay, you may have avoided competition this week, but next week you will not, as you will be defending your US Championship, and the number one contender will be determined tonight. Um, the number one contender match is originally a triple threat RVD, Randy Orton, Edge. Um, Kurt Angle demands to be inserted into the match so he can get his hands on Rene Dupree. Uh, during the Fatal 4-Way, La Resistance prevent Kurt Angle from winning the Fatal 4-Way, uh, presumably at the at the request of Rene Dupree with like a backstage thing without audio showing them kind of like scheming, whatever. And uh, R- RVD ends up winning that triple threat or the Fatal 4-Way uh, to earn himself a number one contendership. Rene Dupree then the next week successfully defends his US Championship match, some promos, some ringside, some commentary, whatever the fuck I did, doesn't really matter. Um, then the week after that, there would be a promo between Kurt and Rene Dupree, where uh, Kurt calls out Rene Dupree for being scared of him, ducking him in the King of the Ring, making sure he wasn't the number one contender last week. Dupree then in in return comes out and tells him he's not afraid, but repeats that Kurt lost the privilege for a one-on-one match against Rene Dupree. Uh, Muhammad Hassan interrupts the promo, telling Kurt that he's too busy worrying about Dupree because he should be worried about Hassan as he is his opponent in the King of the Ring for the next week or whatever. Um, and... Uh, and uh, yeah, so they, they they basically end up doing a six-man tag. Kurt would have asked for a six-man tag against La Resistance, the full three-member La Resistance, but the tag team of La Resistance would have been previously booked, so we get a six-man uh, with Rene, Muhammad Hassan, and Davari against Team Angle with the heels winning. Um... Muhammad Hassan, Dupree, and uh, and and Davari because Team Angle would turn turn face for this. Um... Then the next week, Hassan beats uh, Kurt Angle clean in the King of the Ring. Uh, but afterwards, Dupree beats down Kurt Angle in a post-match assault. The week after, Kurt cuts a promo demanding a match with Rene Dupree for the U.S. Championship. Uh, Dupree comes out and says, you know, did I did I knock a few screws loose, buddy? I, I fucking beat the shit out of you and you want some more, dude? Nah, man, nah. The GM comes out. He says, you know what, Kurt, I like the sound of Kurt versus Dupree for the U.S. Championship. However, we earn things around here, so tonight you will face the man that Dupree defeated the week prior, Randy Orton. If you can beat him, you will get a shot at the U.S. Championship at the Great American Bash pay-per-view on Sunday. So that's uh, that's what we have there. That's how we get to that match right there. Rene Dupree with his U.S. Championship and Money in the Bank contract versus Kurt Angle challenging for uh, the said U.S. Championship. So there you go. Then in the Fifth match of the evening, we have Chris Benoit versus Eddie Guerrero. Now, this dates back how it started to Judgment Day. Even prior to that, uh, to to the uh, obviously the championship celebration of, of Eddie, but that was recalled in the uh, in the build before. So, anyways, the tensions with the Money in the Bank that was on Benoit prior to Judgment Day lead to uh, Eddie costing Benoit his U.S. Championship versus 
um, Money in the Bank match against Dupree, meaning Benoit loses his Money in the Bank uh, contract to Rene Dupree at Judgment Day. Benoit, in retaliation, costs Eddie Guerrero essentially the World Heavyweight Championship at Judgment Day. Uh, the SmackDown after that, Eddie Guerrero tries to explain or apologize. Chris Benoit comes out to, you know, runs out to beat his ass. Eddie Hall, you know, hauls ass. He leaves. And then that's the end of it. The next week, Eddie goes out there again, trying to apologize again. Again, Benoit comes down to beat his ass. Eddie this time doesn't run away. He says, listen, okay, just let me explain. Just let me apologize. And if you still want to beat my ass after, so be it. Benoit allows him the chance to apologize. Eddie says, listen, man, I, I, for a year, I was trying to get that title. For a year, I was caught up with Kurt. I finally got past him, I thought, and I was just, I was so happy with the title. And, and you start teasing the, the Money in the Bank cash in, and I just got in my own head, and I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. Um, Benoit extend uh, Eddie extends his hand in uh, for a handshake, you know, in apology. Benoit, you know, you, you kind of stares at him for a little bit, then shakes his hand, but there is obvious tension there. The next week, uh, sorry, that uh, later that night, Benoit has a King of the Ring match against Randy Orton. Randy Orton uh, tries to cheat, bringing a weapon into the ring. Eddie tries to stop him. Benoit sees this, but thinks that Eddie is trying to get him to cheat. The distraction allows Randy Orton to win the match. The next week, Eddie again apologizes for the last week and says to make up for it, he will forfeit his spot in the King of the Ring uh, against Edge to Chris Benoit, so Benoit has another chance in the King of the Ring. Benoit loses clean to Edge. Uh, the week after that, they uh, Eddie Guerrero says, listen, man, you know, it didn't work out for you in the King of the Ring, but that's fine because I thought of an idea to make things right for both of us, get some titles around our waist. We can go for the tag team titles. I booked us a match against La Resistance. Let's get it. They be La Resistance. The next week, they be World's Greatest Tag Team in a number one contenders match. The week after that, they have a tag team title match against Edge and Christian. Um, in terms of promo segments, Benoit doesn't say a word throughout this, by the way. It's just Eddie kind of speaking and Benoit just kind of sitting there reacting. Um... In the tag team title match, Benoit looks in good shape to be maybe winning the match, maybe not, but he looks in good shape. He's in, he's kind of in control. Eddie tags in and ends up losing the match for the two of them. The next week, he apologizes. He says, "Listen, um, you know, I just I really wanted to be the one to get the win so I could show you here I did this for you. I I'm, I wanted to make it up to you by being the one to win the match so I could show you that I did it for you. Again, it was a mistake. I shouldn't have do, done that. You were in control. I'm sorry. But good news is I got us another tag match. We can build our way back up and we won't make the same mistake this time. They have a match against La Resistance. Eddie Guerrero starts off the match and refuses to tag out of the match because he wants to make up for his mistake from the last week. He cannot single-handedly overcome the numbers game of a world-class tag team in La Resistance and does not uh, win the match. La Resistance win. They have a match against the world's greatest tag team the next week. Uh, this time, Chris Ben who Chris Benoit starts off the match. However, Eddie immediately tags in, and uh, and again, same thing. He doesn't want to tag out. He loses the match again. He tries to apologize to Benoit again in the ring. Benoit kind of walks out on him, leaves. The next week, uh, promo time, Benoit interrupts, and he's like, listen. For the first time, he's speaking on the mic. This time, he's like, listen, Eddie, I accepted your apology. I, I, I thought it was genuine. I still think it's genuine, but we're not solving anything with this tag team stuff. We're not, we haven't solved anything in these past couple months. So... I think we should solve this like men, you and me, in the ring, Great American Bash, one-on-one, -on -one, put this behind us. And Eddie says, okay, Chris, if that's what you want, see you, Great American Bash. So that's how we have Chris Ben, who Chris Benoit, facing off against Eddie Guerrero in this matchup. And then in the main event of the evening, we have Christian defending his World Heavyweight Championship against The Undertaker. So, um... For this one, Eddie, uh, Christian would have had his championship celebration on the next SmackDown, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he would have, you know, said he was proud to win the title, thankful to the fans, thank thankful to his family, all that stuff. You know, typical babyface celebration stuff. And then he would start talking about how his first defense will be, uh, uh, will be against Edge. But the... Um, the Undertaker comes out and he says, listen, you know, where I'm from, people don't get handed opportunities. They earn them. And that's what I did at Judgment Day. 
I'm first in line for the title. The general manager comes out and says, you know what? You guys gave me a great idea. Um, tonight we'll have Edge versus Undertaker. The winner will get the World Heavyweight Championship match. The loser will be inserted into the King of the Ring since we have one spot left open and we didn't know who to put in. So um, there you go. And then uh, and then Undertaker defeats Edge to win the number one contendership. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. Um, then the next week, Edge would be kind of hunting down Taker all night, but also not. He, he, he would um, talk to Christian backstage, kind of, you know, hair pulling, deranged, seething Edge kind of thing throughout the night. At the beginning of the show, he'll uh, he'll he'll you know talk with Christian about it. He'll be like, "Damn, like fucking, the, we had this dream, man. We had this dream to fight for the title at at, at, at fucking um, at SummerSlam, man. We had this dream to fight for the title. We had it right there." And Undertaker came out. Who does he think he is? And the GM giving him this opportunity, man. Blah blah blah. Christian tries to calm him down. Doesn't really work. Edge then hunts down the general manager near the middle of the show. He'll find the general manager. Um, and be like, listen, man, how dare you do this? Blah, 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 blah. You should, why'd you get involved? This and that. He'll be like, listen, the decision was made. You had an opportunity. I can't do anything. Like, you lost the match. Uh, he's like, blah, 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 whatever. For the rest of the show, Edge tries to find Undertaker. He confronts Undertaker backstage, um, says, you know, how dare you? Who do you think you are? You, you ruined our dream, blah, blah, blah. Undertaker says, listen, man, you had a chance to beat me. You didn't. Not my problem. Turns around, Edge then attacks Undertaker with the championship, his tag team championship, leaving him in a bloody mess on the ground um, before Christian finds him, who has been looking for him all night because he's worried about, you know, what he's going to do kind of thing. Um, Christian's like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you, man? Calls over doctors. Undertaker's bleeding from, like, the back of the head kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Uh, it's announced that uh, Undertaker is out for an unprecedented... Um, not unprecedented. Um, you know, uh, a random amount of time. Not random fucking... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for, man? What is the word I'm looking for? Fuck, fuck, fuck. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, fuck, man indefinite there we go oh, fuck's sake um uh, undertaker is out of action indefinitely edge cuts a promo providing a sincere apology to christian and to the undertaker he let his emotions get the best of him when the dream was taken away um you know he asked the doctors about undertaker they said didn't they said they didn't know when he'd be back uh he knows that he de deserves an ass whooping uh when undertaker gets back and he says he's willing to receive it um but tonight he begins his redemption in the king of the ring uh, and 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 that's when he would have beat uh, Chris Ben. Who Chris Benoit? Uh, the next week we had a tag team match: Christian and Edge versus uh, Orton and Tajiri. Uh, just kind of like a random match, um, warm-up tag match kind of thing. Uh, then the next week, Edge asks the uh, neutral GM about the 30-day clause in Christian's contract. Says, you know, listen. I know we got a tag title defense next week, and I know I've got my King of the Ring match against Randy next week. But if you need a number one contender for the 30-day clause for the world title, I will happily pull triple duty if it's for the world title. The GM's like, listen, we actually heard from the doctors Undertaker will be cleared by Great American Bash. So we will be, you know, um, ignoring the 30-day clause for Christian's World Heavyweight Championship. And then Undertaker will get his match at Great American Bash. However, if you really do want singles gold, you will be put into a number one contender match for the U.S. Championship tonight um, with RVD and your opponent next week, Randy Orton kind of thing. And as we said earlier with the Kurt Angle and Dupree build, RVD wins that match. Uh, then the next week, the tag title defense is successful for Edge and Christian against uh, Eddie and Benoit. And then the King of the Ring match, Edge, of course, defeats Randy Orton. Uh, the week after that, Edge is watching the King of the Ring match at commentary between Jericho and Hurricane. Jericho wins and... Uh, Edge, uh, Christian would have been on commentary as well. Christian would have been doing self promos throughout this, uh, this time that Undertaker was gone, by the way, um, to promote the match and to, prom to promote whatever, um, Edge goes to shake Jericho's hand after the match. Uh, and, you know, general manager says, hey, listen, congratulations. In two weeks, you two have your uh, King of the Ring match. But next week, Edge and Christian, you two will take on Jericho. And this man, lights go out, gong hits, lights come back up. It's fucking Undertaker. Turn around, he goozles um, Edge and then a choke slam to Edge. So 
There you go. Then the next week, Edge and Christian face Y2J, Chris Jericho, and The Undertaker with uh, Undertaker pinning Edge for the win. Um, then the next week after that, we have Edge beating, uh, you know, your boy Jericho, which was the go home now. Um, and then a stare down with Hassan while Taker and Christian had their contract signing, man. In the contract signing, Christian would say, listen, like, I fought so hard to get this title. I don't care who you are. I respect you, but I'm not going to let you intimidate me. Like, you're not beating me. I'll find a way to beat you. You can fucking bank on it um and then undertaker saying like listen you know after after i beat you for the title i'm gonna go fuck up your boy edge um and that's that's that like i'm beating you for that title so uh undertaker versus christian in the main event there for the world heavyweight championship uh that's pretty much the whole match card obviously no promo segments in the pay-per-views in this game or in any of the gm modes really so um yeah man that's that's the pay-per-view card you know what i'm saying we'll go ahead and um my fucking controller is tangled up and it's not long enough to get to a place where I can play with it properly around my desk. Hold on. That's why I'm fucking stalling right now. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the show uh, by, uh, you know, confirming the match card and starting off uh, with the first match of the evening, of course, which uh, I will remind you is Edge versus Muhammad Hassan in the King of the Ring. Um, so... Here we go. We're going to go ahead and play the match, of course. DQ is going to be off. Give up technically has to stay on because of Muhammad Hassan, which is fine. We're going to be playing this match, and we're going to be playing this match as... Muhammad Hassan. Let's go, baby. Muhammad Hassan will be winning the SmackDown final and moving on to SummerSlam against Batista, you know what I'm saying, um, by defeating Edge tonight in the King of the Ring. Now we got Muhammad Hassan right here, who is a heel. We've got Davari. Uh, we put Davari here because Davari is always with Muhammad Hassan. So uh, there you go. Plus he gets a nice little popularity boost. So yes, sir. Um, and he's a heel. And then Edge is a baby vase. Um, and he's going to lose this match. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. It's been two months since I played this game. I'm probably going to lose this match because I'll be remembering the controls for the game. But let's try and... Um, okay, voice crack there. Let, let's 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 load in and try and win this match for Muhammad Hassan in the gameplay. And while we wait for this to load, we're gonna go ahead and crack open a cold one with the boys. Dead meme, please sponsor me, Peace T. You know what I'm saying? Ah, we've got that um, cheeky cherry flavor today, baby. Here we go, Great American Bash. <clears throat> On this day. I see clearly everything has come to light in a place in a broken dream and I leave it all behind on this day like the nameplate it's so real to me everything has come to light not a chance to chase the dream, not a chance to feel, chance to feel alive. Let's go, dude. And we've got uh, Muhammad Hassan right here as well. <clears throat> Here we go, Muhammad Hassan. Now, in real life, this was the last appearance for Muhammad Hassan. You know, Great American Bash. He got written off into death by Undertaker through that uh, through the entrance stage. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know uh, they ran a terrorist angle on the day that the that the uh, bombings in London happened, uh, which is unfortunate timing. But I mean, the fact that they ran a terrorist angle pretty much is. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have kept the character to its uh, roots, which was, Hey, I'm you, but you treat me like I'm not you, Americans. So fuck you. That's the original gimmick, and it was fucking fantastic. Um, and then they and then they went, Hey, I'm gonna be a terrorist. And it's like, um, Vince, it's not, 90, it's not 1999, man. It's, it's fucking 2005, my dude. You can't, <laughs> you can't be doing that shit no more, man. There's, there's some leeway. You can get away with some shit still. I, I, I don't know if terrorism's one of them, but, uh, yeah. Unfortunate. He could have been such a fucking... He was just... He was so over as a heel, you know? Like, he just had so much heat on him, brother. Oh, top 10 heels of all time, Muhammad Hassan. He has to be. For him to get that much heat in that little time and be that fucking high up the card and shit, has to be. 
top 10 heal of all time. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Here we go. I remember how to play this game. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, sir. <clears throat> Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a spear, not going to lie, but that didn't, that, uh, that did not work. Maybe he does have a spear. It's just not that one. Was going for the German there. Uh, not a roll-up. Not a schoolboy. Not whatever the fuck roll-up name that is. There we go. You know what? Let's go top rope with... Uh, no, we're not, because we lose momentum for doing that shit, don't we? Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, my guy. Get the fuck out of here, my guy. German Supla, baby. Let's go, man. What it do, man? What it do, man? Ooh, look at that shit right there. Let me uh, let me store this right here. Boom. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see. What's this gonna be? What's this gonna be? Oh, he reversed. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. That's an edge reversal, too. He does that move. He does that move. That's cool, man. There you go. Come on. Let's try it again, though. Let's try it again. Let's see if it actually connects. I think it might. Oh, got him. Get your way, sup. Brian Hebner in the way, of course. Ayo, Edge. Oh, go behind. Into another. Nope. I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Okay, come on, Edge. Come on. Oh, fuck. Get out of here. Fucking trying to punch me. Oh, shit. Yeah, talk your shit. Talk your shit, Davari. Talk your shit, Davari. Love it. Talk your shit. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. Ooh. Got him. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, why are you doing that? Get out of here. Ooh, grabbing you by the face. Just punching the shit out you. Gotta love it. Grab him by the face again. Yes, sir. Ooh, big clubbing blow to the back. Um. Shit. Ooh, got him. Got him. Oh, fuck. The reach. The reach did not work. There we go. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. That was an interesting. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, okay. Do some, fuckhead. Get out of here with that shit. Fuck you think this is, sir? Fuck you think this is, man? Come on, bro. Ooh, got him. All right. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ooh, there you go. There you go. All right. Uh, let's, let's, uh, this isn't submission, is it? No. Okay. I think down is submission. There you go. Um, so in terms of, um, you know, the match, there's no shenanigans or nothing. No, no Divari causing anything. Just a clean win for Muhammad Hassan. Um, like I, like I said in, in one of the episodes, I, f I think it might have been when Hassan beat Kurt Angle. Um, I, I tried to limit the uh, the shenanigans finishes in this tournament. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's just get you with the boom flatliner. Or modified STO. doesn't really matter. And let's get this W. Yes, sir. There we go. Muhammad Hassan finishes, um, wins the SmackDown final of the King of the Ring to advance to the final of the King of the Ring against the Raw finalist at SummerSlam, which is a Batista, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, Muhammad Hassan gets a big win on pay-per-view against Edge, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, good shit right there, man. Good shit right there. Good shit right there. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. All thanks to this PC. Please sponsor me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm recording, right? Yeah, good. Fucking good. If I wasn't recording this whole time, I would have fucking killed myself, dude. Are you joking? Fucking 40 minutes in, some shit like that. All right, man. Let's keep it moving. We got this Cruiserweight Championship match. Rob Van Dam, Hurricane. We got the match rules, we got give up off, we got DQ off, we're gonna be playing this match, and we're gonna be playing this match as... Can I, can I go through all of them? There we go. We're gonna be playing this match as... The Hurricane. The Hurricane is going to retain his Cruiserweight Championship against uh, Rob Van Dam. Hurricane's clean, or baby phase. Rob Van Dam is also a baby phase. This will be a nice, good matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship. Let's load in and see if we can replicate the kayfabe retention in the gameplay. 
And while we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some more of this PST. Please sponsor me. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. Is Rob Van Dam, dude? Is Rob Van Dam, dude? One of a kind. Hey, hey, hey. One of a kind. I think it's Titan Tron Crows. One of a kind. Is it still stuck on his face, his Titan Tron? We'll see when the nameplate comes up. No, we won't because it's not SmackDown. You don't have the video on the nameplate now for this one. What do you see there? I see that look in your eyes Makes you believe I'm one of a kind There I live in the back of your mind Makes you believe I'm one of a kind Hey, 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 one of a kind Hey, 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 one of a kind Let's go Did I skip any entrances last time or did, they, did I watch all of them the whole way through? I can't remember there's a hurricane coming through. Um, Cause yeah, I, I tend to watch the entrances on pay-per-view. So if, 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 I, if I skipped one of them last time, I apologize, but I don't think I did. We got Hurricane right here with his Cruiserweight Championship, baby. Two weeks away from holding it for a year. Can he make it? He's gonna make it past tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. So we'll see what the future holds right here. We're gonna be playing as the Hurricane, baby. <clears throat> Look at him, bruh. That Cruiserweight title, man. That Cruiserweight title, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, uh, this, this is gonna be a tough one, man. Fucking Hurricane's like 79 rated or some shit. Fucking Rob Van Dam's 87. A singles match. This is gonna be a pain in my ass. This is gonna be a pain in my ass. So, uh, yeah. Pain in my ass. Let's go. I'm, I'm ready for it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, oh, he's he's choosing that. Cool, 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 cool. Is this a... Be the quickest. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here, you fucking jabron. Get out of here. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Okay, that was uh, that was that was just a brain buster to start the match. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta. Love it. Uh, RVD, like I I know you're good and shit. Like I know you're good and shit. But like, you're not supposed to win this match, dude. That was supposed to be a German. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. Boom. Got him. All right. Get your fucking ass up, dude. Get your ass up. Ain't no games no more. Get out of here. Oh, got him. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Get your ass. Get your ass, bro. I, I, I love how big and open the pay-per-views feel. There's the gringo killer. Ooh. Uh, the vertebraker. Double underhook pile driver. Whatever you want to call it. There we go. Here we go. Oh, yes, sir. Ooh, okay. 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 Ooh, jeez. Okay. Hey, yo. Fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, a little bit of offense ain't the end of the world, right? A little bit of offense ain't the end of the world. Ay, ay, ay. Stop, stop. All right. Every time I've tried to grapple from that fucking position, he's he's reversed, and I don't like it. I ay, 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 stop. You fuckhead. Come on, bro. Here we go. Oh, got him. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. There it is. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that's not good. I think I turned submission off, yeah? Alright. Dope. Dope. Alright, come on. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Okay, okay, never mind. You're going reverse. I think I reversed that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he reversed mine, too. Fuck head. Oh jeez, fuck you, dude! No, 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 get out! Get what the fuck? Get out of here, man! Uh, okay. Did, that gave me a fucking finish. The fuck? Fuck kind of shit? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fuck you! Got him. Fucking got him, dude. Get fucking jabroned. Get. Oh, fuck you! Come on. Oh jeez. 
Oh shit, oh shit. Ooh, German soup la baby. I'm not the one dishing it out, but I still love to see it, you know what I'm saying? I love to see it. If the match isn't too particularly close, then I love to see it. If the match is like, hey, I might lose off of one move, then I hate to see if, it, if it's done to me. But um, this is not the case for this match, so. Ooh, come on, bro. Huh. Ooh, jeez, that didn't work. Huh. There you go. What to do? <laughs> I love his fucking running strikes, man. They're so good. They're so good. Yes, sir. Oh, got him. Come on, sir. Oh, it's from behind, right? Here we go. Eye of the Eye of the Storm, something like that. Some shit like that. I don't know. Fucking something or other. Something or other. Here we go, man. Here we go. Pin his ace. There it is, and still the cruiserweight champion of the world, uh, the Hurricane. So, um, for the first match, I would have given them a solid, like, 15 minutes. Just because Edge has to pull double duty, so I'm not going to make them go, like, 20, 25, whatever. But, like, eh, you know, solid, like, 10 to 15, maybe 12 minutes for the King of the Ring final. Um, this match, probably give them just, like, a full 20 minutes and just have them, like, fucking go nuts you know what i'm saying why not um however it won't be like a dominant um win for hurricane it will be like him winning with a roll-up or something it won't be him winning with a finish it'll be rvd taking him to his limit kind of thing and him finding a roll-up kind of a you know 20 minutes in both men are exhausted and you know he he sneaks away with a win um not 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 in a heelish way because obviously he's the hurricane he's a baby face he's been since uh royal rumble um but you know what i mean like yeah, so um, not not like a dominant win where he hits his finish and wins. He, he's going to get a roll-up for the win. I just did the finish in the game because it's uh, that's how the game works, man. That's how the game works. You do your finisher and then you pin and then th that's that. So, um, yeah, man. And still a Cruiserweight champion, the Hurricane. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and move on to the third match of the evening right here, which is the Tag Team Championship match. Dude, Edge got one match worth of rest. He got 20 minutes of rest before he's going to go out and defend his Tag Team Championships. Will it be a successful defense? Will it be an unsuccessful defense? DQ's off. Give up is on. Yes, sir. And we could be playing this match. We could be playing this match at... Can I not do right? Because you, you, you can do that. Uh, we're going to be playing as... Uh, World's greatest tag team, Charlie Haas, Shelton Benjamin. We are going to be seeing new tag team champions tonight, baby. So, um, yeah, man, let's. Uh, we're playing as Shelton right here, who's a baby face. We're playing as uh, Charlie Haas, who is a baby face because of the La Resistance stuff. And then uh, Edge, who's a baby face, and Christian, who's a baby face, uh, who is also pulling double duty tonight. This is Edge's second match. Christian's second match is later. This is his first match of the night. Let's see if we can win these tag team titles for you boys. Uh, the world's greatest tag team. While we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some more of this peace tea. Please sponsor me. Ah, yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go, man. There they are. There they are, dude. I wish they had matching gear, but that's okay. Here we go, man. World's greatest tag team. Trish, stop calling me Trish Stratus. Doubt it, brother. Have you seen a mirror? <laughs> Got him. Oh man. I shouldn't be one talking, bro. I'm gross. Um, let's 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 uh, let's let's try and um, can uh, can THQ revive itself and patch this game so that the themes don't loop in tag team entrances? Thank you, thank you very much. <clears throat> On this day, I see clearly everything has come to light in a place. In a broken dream, and I leave it all behind. On this day, it's so real to me. Everything has come to light. Not a chance 
to chase the dream Not a chance to feel Chance to feel alive Let's go! Second time hearing that, first time hearing this And there's gonna be another if you close your eyes, your light, a naked truth revealed Dreams you've never lived and scars never healed In the darkness, light will take you to the other side And find me waiting there, you'll see if you just close your eyes If you just close your eyes Let's go You'll see if you just close your eyes. Let's go, dude. Fucking incredible theme, bro. We get to hear it twice today. Let's fucking go. Let's do it, man. Um, in terms of in terms of this match, I give him a solid 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, you know, just let him let, let him go ham a little bit. Just let him go fucking cuckoo bananas, you know what I'm saying? Just let him fucking tear the house down, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do on this show. We ain't no fucking raw garbage with the same fucking match every week. We got fucking fire on this show, bitch. Fuck out of here. Okay, Edge, listen, 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 Edge, 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 listen. I know I know you're like really fucking high rated in Charlie Haas 78, right? I I I know you're really high rated in Charlie uh, I know you're really high rated in Charlie Haas 70 Okay, sorry, Christian. I know you're really high rated in Charlie and and, 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 and Charlie Haas 78, right? But okay, stop, stop. Listen, listen, listen. You're not supposed to win this match, okay? I know you're mad that I beat your ass with Muhammad Hassan, but get the fuck out of here, you son of a bitch. Fucking get this fucking shit, bro. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Ooh, okay, Christian. Okay, Christian. Can you fucking chillax, brother? You got another match tonight, man. Just take it easy. Fucking just, 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 just chillax, my guy. Just fucking chillax, my guy, you know? Just fucking, just chillax, you know what I'm saying? Just another submission? Are you joking? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, see, I want to call in Shelton. I just forget how. Uh, I I called him in somehow. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, double team, double team with me. Yes, sir! Jeez, what a match. I got no idea Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, beat his ass. Beat his ass, Shelton. Beat his ass, Shelton. Fuck you, Christian. Fuck you, world champion ass. Fucking having two titles ass. Get out of here. We don't even have one. We bout to. Fuck. Who the fuck? Let me out. Here we go. Here we go. Leave me alone, Christian. Here we go. 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 Into a good old uh, German supla, baby. Fuck yeah, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Tag team maneuver. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Whoop. Let's go. Yes, sir. Uh, big neck breaker. So, um... The, the, in terms of the finish for this match, um, it, it, it would be maybe like a, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it, there, there would be a backstage segment after the match too. Um, I, I don't know. It, it would be clean, but it wouldn't be like, I, I don't know. Edge is taking the fall. Charlie Haas is is, is going to uh, be the one to pin Edge for the win. Um, but can you stop beating my ass, man? How the fuck? I got an 87 fucking Shelton Benjamin and you're beating my ass more than you beat my ass when I was fucking 78 fucking uh, Charlie Haas. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the... <laughs> he got interrupted. I think my buttons are loose on my controller. That's not good, bro. They don't make PS2 controllers no more. I don't want to fucking buy a fucking $800 PS2 controller because they don't fucking make them any, bro. Make them anymore, man. Fucking supply and demand ass shit right there. What the fuck? Ooh, arm drag. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. Never mind. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Even better. He reversed it. Fuck. Hey. Get out of here. Ooh, there you go, sir. There you go, sir. Let me, uh... Yeah, there you go. How's your neck? How's your neck, you son of a bitch? 
What does down do? Who's he going with with down? Okay, so he went to straight to edge with down. So I have to do up to get him for <coughs> the um, other illegal man. <coughs> Fucking uh, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I wish those. I wish those 2008 so I could just roll around to fucking until I aggroed. You know what I mean? That was a funny system in 2008. You just roll around. You could. You could. Uh, ooh, there you go. You could. Uh, you could really cheese tag matches in 2008 as well. With uh, with the with the rolling because if you wanted somebody in there and they weren't in there, you could just be like, hey, I'm a roll until you tag out, bitch. Got him. <clears throat> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Stop. 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 Ayo. 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 Can I? Uh... That's not groggy. Apparently. Here we go. Here we go. T-bone. T-bone. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Christian. Uh, Christian. 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 Man. You're. Oh, fuck you. Get out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of. Oh shit. Fuck. Shit. Okay. Come on, man. There you go. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, good. Sell. Sell your fucking injuries, you son of a bitch. Here we go. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isn't that gonna lose? That that got me momentum somehow. I don't fucking... I'm a baby face. I'm fucking doing a heel ass. Oh, yeah. What I do? Fucking focus on me, man. Focus on me. There you go. Hebner, get the fuck out of the way, man. Fucking bitch ass. Hebner, get the fuck out my way, you fuck head. German supla, baby. Hey, love to see it. Love to see it. Here we go. Here we go. Go get Christian, please. Shelton uh, Benjamin. That's going to be rope. Of course it is. He didn't even fucking get him either. Okay, well, that's gator fucking roll. Gator something. Something like that. Not a gator roll. Front headlock uh, maneuver. You know what I'm, so you know what I'm saying? Oh, there. Why? <sighs> Come on, Christian. Come on, Christian. What you think this is, man? You think that, you think this is a fucking playground? You think this is McDonald's play place? You fucking climb around like that, you fuckhead? Get the fuck out of my face with that shit, man. Come on, sir. Come on, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, Charlie. Yes, sir. Uh, you look like you're humping his leg there, but okay. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to kink shame, you know what I'm saying? You do what you you do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? You do what you got to do. We don't kink shame over here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really get it. I, I mean... You do what you need to do, man. You do what you need to do. You, you fucking... Here we go. German supla, baby. Let's fucking go, sir. Here we go. There you go. Now, can you... Can you go get him? Can you... Can you... Why did you switch aggro? Christian, what the fuck just happened? I'll take it because it's a... It's a fucking tag match that didn't go 78 minutes. But, like, what the fuck just happened there? <laughs> I tell Shelton to go get uh, Christian. He's like, Nah, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a walk over, but I'm I'm good. And then I pin him. He's like, Oh, you want me to, you want me to fuck him up? The guy you're pinning for the win. And then Christian's like, Hey, I'm a elbow drop the air beside you and not break up your pin. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh. So throughout throughout the match, Christian will maybe be. A little absent-minded, um, maybe not too into it, you know what I mean? Maybe like avoiding a tag here and there or something and being like, no, no I, I don't need to tag in, you got it right now, Edge kind of thing. Um, and uh, maybe Edge gets a little annoyed with him throughout the match because of him doing that. He's like, brother, your your world title match is later, our tag match is now, fucking focus kind of thing. So just a kind of like Christian being absent-minded, there would have been maybe a backstage thing with uh, Edge and Christian backstage, with Christian maybe before the match being like, hey, listen, I know you didn't start off the match right, uh, the night right, but guess what? We'll, we'll, you know, let's go retain these tag titles. 
and then uh, and then I got Undertaker later. So let's just go get this match out out of the way, and then and then whatever. And then after the match, maybe have Christian kind of apologize and be like, "Listen, man, I'm, I'm sorry, man. My my head's on the main event. It's just it's a big match. It's Undertaker. It's my first title defense. I have to win. I'm I'm just focused on that." And Edge is kind of being like, "Well, fucking like we we don't have the tag titles anymore. Like what the fuck? Like you you being distracted? Fuck me, man. Whatever." And then they kind of have uh, maybe they're a little bit upset at each other. Um, uh, after the after the tag match, but we do have new tag team champions Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. So here we go on to the next match right here, United States Championship match. Uh, Rene Dupree is retaining, as you can guess by Sylvain Grenier's uh, placement there. This is I, I kind of cheated with this match. I, I tried. I think I said I would try not to put people in manager roles. This one kind of counts though, because I mean, world's greatest tag team would have been out out there for the match, and then and then you know. Um, and then the rest of La Resistance would have been out there. The DQ is going to go off. The give up has to stay on because of Kurt. We're going to be playing this match. We're going to be playing this match as Rene Dupree retaining our US Championship. Uh, he is a heel. Grenier is a heel. Kurt Angle is a, a baby phase in this rivalry. Let's see if we can go ahead and retain this title for Rene Dupree. And while we wait for this to load, we're going to go ahead and drink some of this peace. Please sponsor me. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Love it. Gotta love that shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Let's, uh... We got Kurt Angle right here. You suck. 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 Hell yeah, man. We got Kurt Angle right here. He's going to lose, but, you know. Um, and this will be a clean retention for Rene Dupree. Um, and again, I, I think I've said it before. When I say clean retention for heel, they'll still wrestle like a heel. They'll just win without shenanigans, right? No shenanigans finish. Now, uh, what that nameplate failed to mention, right, is um, he is also a Monsieur Money in the Bank. So um, he is the U.S. champion, Rene Dupree, but also a Monsieur Money in the Bank, Rene Dupree. So uh, there you go, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Monsieur Money in the Bank. Let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. We gonna retain this title. And by that, I mean we're gonna get fucked by Kurt Angle because he's a 90 fucking 5 rated. Why did I do this to myself? And then, uh... And we'll go from there. And we'll go from there. Yeah. 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 Oh uh, fucking shit, he, he fucking... I think I reversed? Nope, German Supla, baby! Hey, Kurt, 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 listen. Kurt, 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 Fucking piece of shit. I think there's a fucking, like... I think there's some sort of truck outside my house, because I can hear a beeping from, like, a truck reversing. I don't know if it's a moving truck, I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know if that's getting picked up by the mic. I don't think it would, but uh, if it is, apologies. Uh, fucking, listen, Kurt, you're, 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 Kurt. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, you turned around, dude. That was supposed to be a German, but we just got a fisherman. No, you don't get the kick out fucking momentum. You don't get the kick out momentum. You so oh my goodness. He fucking got eyes in the back of your bald ass head over there, Kurt. Fucking piece of shit, dude. Reversing my shit, man. Ooh, that was supposed to be a German, but that's fine. There we go. That was meant to be that. There we go. 
Here we go. Oh, this is going to be a tough match, man. This is going to be a tough match. A singles versus Kurt. Fuck's sake. There you go. There you go. Here you go. Let's uh, let's try and get some knees. No, hey, fuck you, man. Okay, okay, okay. Kurt, listen. Kurt, Kurt. Okay, I reversed. All right. Cool, 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 cool. There you go. Get some of those fucking Muay Thai knees in there, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. Fuck you. Okay. Boom. Don't think I've seen Rene Dupree do that. So, there you go. I thought he reversed. I thought he reversed. I thought he reversed. I was fucking... I'm terrified anytime I do a move because I'm like, brother... Oh, fuck, 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 All right, all right. I mean, I'm I'm, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Kind of-ish. Maybe, 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 maybe. Get the fuck out of here, Kurt Angle. Oh, shit. Listen, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. You know when I... Okay, here we go. See? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. See? Because I'm just... There you go. See, Kurt, when I said you were bald, man, I fucking meant it. You know what I mean, you fucking bald son of a bitch? Your fucking hair's gone. That makes you a lesser human being. Don't you know that, Kurt? Don't you know that not having hair on top of your head makes you a fucking subhuman piece of shit, Kurt? Oh, man. Can I kick out, please? Can I kick out, please? Holy fuck. Oh, my goodness. I was fucking terrified. I was terrified. I was terrified. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. Fuck you, dude. Fucking piece of shit. Head ass, bald ass piece of shit. There you go. Get that on the bald back of your head, you son of a bitch. Fucking asshole. Fucking Olympic gold medalist. Bullshit. Fuck you, dude. Here we go. A fisherman. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, I didn't want that, actually. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. Uh, here we go. I never saw Ooh, no. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let me uh, cancel out of that. Let me cancel out of that, please. Here we go. I think I have a pile driver somewhere in my. There you go. I like that. I like that uh, spine buster there. Uh, let's do, let's do one of my one of my finishers here. Yes, sir. Here we go. Come on, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, he countered. Commentary said it. I wonder what that actually is. We'll find out. There you go. All right, Kurt. All right, Kurt. Uh, what up, Kurt? What up, Kurt? What up, Kurt? You're bald. Oh, okay. I guess everybody just has that in their moveset then? Where's the where's the pile driver? Maybe this way? Oh, there you go. Okay. 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 I'm kind of calming down now. I've got him to red and he hasn't got me to yellow. So here we go. Oh, he reversed, but I think that was it. Oh, jeez. Okay, Kurt. Okay, Kurt. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, you, yeah, you bitch. Bitch. Hey! What the fuck you doing reversing me like that shit, bruh? Get the fuck out of here. Fuckhead. Fuckhead. You fuck. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Hey! Hey, don't be reversing me. Kurt, that's my fucking leg, Kurt! I need that to beat your ass with! Fucking chopping my leg out from under me, you son of a bitch. I need that fucking- I need that leg to kick the fucking hair back on out of your fucking skull, you bald piece of shit, dude. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, listen, Kurt, I just want to pile driver you on your shiny fucking bald- I want to pile driver you on your shiny bald head, now let me do it! Let me fucking pile drive you on your fucking bald, shiny fucking egg head. You fuck head. Get out. No, oh, fuck you, man. Get the fuck up. Ow, oh, he's got me to yellow now and I'm nervous again, brother. Because yellow can turn to orange and then orange can turn to red and then and then my fucking title's gone, dude. I need you to chill. Kurt, 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 Kurt. Kurt. Kurt, I should have turned off submissions. I should have turned off submissions. My fucking mustache hair is going into my nostril and it's pissing me off, dude. I'm not having a good time right now, Kurt. I would appreciate it, Kurt Angle, if you would fucking chillax, you fuck head. Oh, I pressed the wrong fucking direction. Get up. Fuck you, Hebner. You deserve that. Please, 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 please. Yes, sir. Seriously injured sometimes. No joke, Cole. Get your ass up, Kurt. Get your ass up, Kurt. It's over. It's done. It's done. 
Un, deux, trois. Get the fuck out of here. Let me get my fucking mustache out of my nostril. Hold on. <laughs> fucking hell. All right. All right, cool. There we go. We retain that title, baby. I'm kind of surprised. <clears throat> Commentary saying they're surprised at the French phenom retaining his championship. What show are you watching, brother? This dude's a beast. They didn't book him like that in real life, but um, I'd be booking him like that because I think he, uh, I, I think Rene Dupree is maybe one of the biggest wastes of potential WWE has had. Um, obviously, he, it's it, 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 it's hard to put it all on WWE though because he had some, um, you know, uh, substance abuse issues and stuff like that also it was a sign of the times too because like he just got bullied backstage right like just genuinely like hazed and bullied um by like guys like hardcore holly and jbl and stuff right so um may maybe if it, if the environment of the locker room back then was the same as it is now i feel like maybe Rene dupree could have uh thrived in the wwe but i don't know it doesn't it doesn't really matter what does matter is he retained his fucking u.s title baby you know what it is all right man here we go. And then now we got uh, Benoit versus Eddie Guerrero. Uh, DQ is going to be off, of course. Give up is going to stay on because of Chris Ben. Who? Chris Ben. Why? And Chris Ben. Who are we going to be playing as? We're going to be playing as uh, Chris Benoit. Here we go. All right, man. Chris Ben. Who? 89. Eddie Guerrero, 89. Both of them, baby phase. Let's try and get this W for you, boy, Chris Benoit. And while we, wait, while we wait for this to load, almost had a stroke. Please sponsor me, PST. Hell yeah. Have I mentioned how good PST is, dude? I really wish they'd sponsor me. Here we go, Chris Benoit. Let's go. Come on, bro. Come on, bruh. Look at him. Main man. Well, I uh, probably shouldn't be saying that about a... Um, yeah, let's move on. I take it back. <laughs> There's no holding me back. I'm not driven by fear. I'm just driven by anger. And you're under attack. Just climbing up slowly, I'm the one and only, I'm... Um, I think I was starting to mention it earlier, but I got cut off. I, 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 get, I love how open the pay-per-view stages are. La, cheat, steal. La, cheat, steal. La, cheat, steal. La, cheat, steal. Now this this is the main man right here. The GOAT. The GOAT. Yes, sir. I can't be weak. Coming from the streets of the ghetto. At the end of the week, I get to keep your dinero. You're fast asleep when I sneak in your casa. Your life sucks if you're bankrupt and I'm laughing. You can't trust me, ese, cause I'm Latin. Let's go, Eddie Guerrero. The GOAT. Not, not winning tonight, but uh, don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's a wrestling match, you know? You win some, you lose some, you know? And on this occasion, he's going to be losing this one. It's fine. <clears throat> yeah, man. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's try and get this W. This one should be a, a, a decent one because we're the exact same rating. Uh, Eddie's got some more high-flying attributes. I've got some more submission-based attributes. Um... It should, should be a good one. Should be a good one, man. Should be a good one. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Load us in and let's fucking... Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, every decision you make as GM should be for the fans. Watch Raw and you will tell. You, you Watch current day Raw and you can tell that, that Vince does not agree with that in any sentiment 
Uh, oh, he's picking that. Test strength again. Can y'all fucking CPU fucking change up and and do a better fucking variation of shit, please? There you go, Eddie. There you go, Eddie. There you go, Eddie. There you go, Eddie. Fuck you, man. Uh, there you go. Uh, I would give these guys like 25 minutes, honestly. Just uh, give them give them a solid 25 minutes. Um... I would have given Renee and uh, and Kurt probably like 20 minutes as well. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Ooh, there you go. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. There you go, Eddie. Get your ass up, Eddie. Here we go. Ooh. All right. I thought those were going to be Brock clotheslines, but it's just the one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. German Supla, baby. German Supla, baby, and uh, German Supla, baby. Let's go. All right, man. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Here we go. Arm maneuver. That's useful for my uh, for my finisher. I don't like that. I don't like you reversing me like that, Eddie. Thank you for having a very slow uh, striking attack uh, animation motion thing. Boom. Let's go. Let's not pin off of that because I don't want him to get that kick out momentum. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. There you go. Ooh, okay. Fucking slapping me out the air like that, Eddie. What are you doing, man? Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, dude. There you go. Here we go. There you go. Get your ass up, dude. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. He just kicked... He kicked me right up my fucking gooch. He kicked me right up my fucking gooch just then. Oh, it's one of those. I was trying to... Uh, uh. Okay. I was trying to cheese it and just like repeatedly press it so he could uh so I could get caught in the reverse um one, but uh Oh there you go. Alright. I'm kinda of beating his ass, man. This is more one sided than I thought it'd be. Um but it is what it is, I guess. We might have to change the difficulty. We might have to do that. The episodes are already pretty long, but uh I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Oh, there you go, sir. There you go, sir. Let's uh, let's get you across like this, and then see. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Go behind. Let's. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Here we go. Yes, sir. Uh, here we go. Oh fuck you. Oh jeez. There you go. There you go. Here we go. And that's the name of the game. Oh, that's a fucking old oh, shit. That's a DDT and a half right there. Fuck. The way he just falls on his face, bro. Here we go. Uh, leg maneuver. Okay. 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 Good shit. Good shit. Uh, and then what's this one gonna be? Okay. I'm having some serious facial hair issues, man. Fucking, it's getting in my fucking nose and my mouth right now. I literally fucking trimmed the shit like last week. Like, I don't fucking. I don't know what the fuck's going on, Ray. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, and you, you fuck. I, am, what I've seen here I can't even call you bald, I'm man. How, like... Oh, fuck. Hey. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Let's get these, uh, three, uh... uh, uh fuck, saying, fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh, there you go. Alright, alright. Here we go, 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 here we go. There we go. Oh, no. Uh, those? Today's? Alright. Um. Jesus. I don't like how he, uh, land the, how the person taking that, the three Germans, uh, I don't like how the person taking that lands, uh, in a supine position. Or, sorry, a prone position. Um, I, I really don't like that because, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, man. Uh, let, let's just... Okay, I was gonna try and drag him. I really don't like that because he would he would usually do the flying headbutt off of the three Germans. <clears throat> so, he really should land on his back in the supine position. So, I could do one of these. Whoop! Okay. 
<laughs> All right. That kind of connected. Just, uh, you know what? Just fucking, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Nike, just do it. Don't sue me, please. Thank you. Um, ooh, we got this uh, slow mo black and white. Oh, we're close. We're close. We're close. There he is. All right. All right, man. All right. Now, it would be a submission finish. It would be Eddie tapping out. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, there you go. It would be Eddie, like, immediately tapping out as soon as he gets it in. He would he would be trying to get it in throughout the night kind of thing. And when, when he finally gets it in, Eddie would, like, maybe maybe a couple seconds go by and Eddie's like, oh, fuck, fuck, okay, tap kind of thing, right? So, um, that it would be one of those uh, submissions where it's pretty much the match is kind of centered around the submission guy getting the submission in. And as soon as he gets it in, um, fully at least, you know, um the guy taps maybe he gets it in but eddie's in the rope and he puts his foot on the rope or something like that and he kind of gets away out of the ring and ben was like "Ooh, almost gotcha naughty naughty you teasing me um anyways let's go ahead to the main event of the evening which is undertaker versus christian for the world heavyweight championship we're going to be playing this match dq off give up off right there bada boom bada bing we're going to be playing this match we're going to be <coughs> Can I? There we go. We're gonna be playing this match as Christian. There it is. That worked out perfectly. We're gonna be retaining this championship as Christian. Um, he's gonna be retaining his World Heavyweight Championship in his second match of the night. We got Christian right here, who is a baby face. We've got Undertaker, who's a baby face. We might lose the title in the gameplay. I'm not gonna lie to you because Undertaker is a piece of shit to fight against. Um, worst case, we'll we'll just uh, get ourselves counted out, and 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 you know um, if that's anything. But um, we're gonna try and win because he does in the kayfabe and he does it clean in the kayfabe. Edge comes out to celebrate with him after the match. Um, kind of thing but uh christian does win let's try and replicate it in the gameplay and while we wait for this to load we're gonna drink some more of this peace tea please sponsor me hell yeah brother hell yeah brother gotta love it <clears throat> the uh the downside of uh having undertaker on the pay-per-view is we have to watch his whole ass entrance <laughs> so um you know, go ahead. Uh, if 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 any of y'all want to take this opportunity to um, you know uh, go start a you know go start a family, uh, travel the world. You know what I'm saying. You know, you know, see you back here in 15 years for the start of the match. You know, get your kids to watch the match. You know, you, you know what I'm saying. While we're waiting for this to to you know happen, the entrance and all that. You know, maybe maybe you know, tell them about the uh, the storylines and shit like that. That way, they they kind of know what's going on. Um, and then and then and then in in 15 years, you know, we'll be back uh, for the match. So, you know, um, yeah, man, yeah, dude, yeah, man. We got short hair taker in this game, which is uh, which is uh, kind of a meme because I think his hair. Oh. It would have still been relatively short in this uh, in this era, right? He he only had it like really long again starting uh, 06. This came out in 05. 05 was WrestleMania 21. Because in in 20 he came back with his hair short, short, a little bit shorter than that, I think, right? Because he had had it short for the Dead Man, um, uh, Biker Taker gimmick, right? And he had had it about this length, maybe a little bit shorter for Mania the last year. 20, and then 21, he would have had it about that length, yeah. I think that that, that works out. That plans out. Here we go, man. Here we go. Let's, let's go. Love it. If you close your eyes, your light, a naked truth revealed. Dreams you've never lived and scars never healed. The in the darkness light will take you to the other side And find me waiting there you'll see if you just close your eyes If you just close your eyes Let's go, my guy! Burna, no, no. You'll see if you just close your eyes Brana, na na, main fucking man, the world heavyweight champion, 
Gotta love it. Look at him. Look at him. He's going to retain this title cleanly against The Undertaker. It's going to be a solid uh, half hour. Give him a half hour. You know what I'm saying? Give him a half hour main event. You know you know what I mean? They could do it. And, uh, and Christian retains clean in a hard-fought, grueling match against The Undertaker. So there you go. Let's see if we can uh, replicate it, because Undertaker is a fucking pain in my dick hole to play against. Uh, can, okay, stare down at least. Pick something else. How does this one work? Press. There we go. There you go. Um, I'm a heel. Or, sorry, I'm a face, so I probably shouldn't have done that. That doesn't really hold true to uh, the, you know, whatever. But it is a face-face uh, match, so, you know what I mean? There you go. There you go. Oh, fuck. I can't lift him. I can't lift him. I can't fucking lift him? You fucking kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna lose, huh? I'm gonna lose, huh? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. There you go. That's a finisher. Right. I forgot. It's, uh, it's broken. Get out of here, fucking trying to fuck me. Get the fuck out of here, you son of a bitch. You fucking tall ass, fucking strong ass, fucking dead fucking entity ass, fucking son of a bitch. The fuck you think this is, uh, bitch? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There you go. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. There it is. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go ahead and, uh, no. Mmm. Oh, shit. Oy vey. Okay. That's, that's, uh, that's a heelish maneuver, Undertaker. I don't, I don't think you should be doing that. You a, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, there you go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck you. Ah, fuck head. Oh, shit. All right. He's, oh, fuck. I'm not yellow yet. So, you know, silver lining and whatnot. There you go. There you go. Uh, I, I, I would like to put him through a table, though, because I want that to happen in the actual match. Get over here. There you go. How did that get me momentum? That's just such a heelish... That's such a heelish thing to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Here we go. That's gonna be rope, but that's fine. It's gonna be rope, but that's fine. Here we go. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay, okay. There you go. I'm, uh, snap your neck a little bit. That, that that won't do much to you, right, Undertaker? Because you're uh, <laughs> you're uh, you're you're already dead, right? So breaking your neck won't do much to you, huh? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, there we go. Good thing he doesn't have very many lift moves, or at least. Maybe he does, and I just haven't discovered them yet. But I mean, like, he's got a lot of moves that aren't lift that are uh, that are working for me. Undertaker must be just a fucking damage sponge, bruh. Like his fucking durability must be ten. There's no way it's not, because like, yeah, I don't, I don't. That's uh, that's not working, huh? Not working? Nah, that's not working. That's not working. My back. There you go. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Fuck you think this is, huh? Fuck you think this is, huh? Fuck you think this is, Undertaker? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Undertaker, Undertaker, under... Okay, not yellow yet, not yellow yet, not yellow yet. There you go, 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 there you go. Hey, fuck, stop, 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 stop. Please, please, Undertaker, please, 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 please. You fucking tall-ass fucking jabron motherfucker. Fucking putting that shit on me. The fuck you think this is, Undertaker? You think this is your fucking title win? Nah, not a chance, my guy. You're here to put over my man's Christian. Okay. He's Canadian. This could be a finishing move. Oh right fuck. Here. Hey, shit, shit, shit. Hey. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm prettier. I'm prettier. I'm prettier. If this doesn't put him to orange, I'm gonna be very, 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 very worried. Uh, but we're gonna drink some PC real quick. All right. <clears throat> oh, hey, fuck, 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 fuck. Get out. Get out. Get out. Woo. All right. Hey, man. What to do, man? Oh, cool. How do I pick up weapons in this game? How do I pick up fucking shit in this game? Oh, here we go. I don't want that. Nope, that's not what I'm doing. There we go. What it do, man? 
this is just oh, I, I took the bait. 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 I don't want to. I don't want to retain through fucking count out. So I'm just gonna. There you go. There you go. Can I get in, please? Thank you. Oh fuck! I tried to strong Irish whip, but I forgot that you can't strong Irish whip somebody. There you go. There you go. Oh fuck. Okay. You know what, man? Just fucking. Yeah. Just meet me out here. Just meet me out here. You fucking tall piece of shit, zombie man. Oh, like I literally fucking my fucking fingers touched his fucking breastbone. Okay. How did I not fucking do my fucking move? Yeah, just, just meet me out here, man. Just meet me out here. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You're good. You're good. Come on. Oh, fuck. Shit. What the fuck? The fuck is he doing? I tried to run, but I just pressed the wrong button, man. Holy shit. I'm... Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey. Oh, there you go. There you go. I just don't want him uh, storing his shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, he didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, walk in and break the count, please. Thank you. Let me out. Woo. Uh, no, you're not taunting. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance, my guy. Not a chance, my guy. I want you to come out here so I can put you through this table. Though. I want you to come out here so I can put you through this table, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Undertaker? I would really like that. I would really like that fucking... Hey. Come. Hey, fuck. Brother, 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 brother. Fuck you, man. Get on the fucking table, you son of a fuck. Alright, here we go. Oh, you fuckhead! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on, man. Fuck. What the fuck are you doing, man? Taunting against me. I can do a superplex. I can do a superplex, no problem. I can do a superplex, no problem, my guy. Oh, got him. That only has him in orange. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. What? Hey! 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 Why are you getting up before me, you fuck? Hey, man, how's it going? You're not, get you're not getting taunt momentum against me, alright? I'm not. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. So you fucking get your- Hey, fucking vey! You fuckhead. Oh, you fuck! He's so quick for a man of, of such fucking height and and fucking meat. You know what I mean? Oh, what the fuck? I was trying to... Here we go. 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 Oh, yeah. The fuck? Any, any no sold. Cool. Cool. Oh, fuck. Okay, good thing that didn't work because I would have missed. Um, How am I supposed to fucking put him through this shit? I'm trying. Hey, uh, uh, no, not working, not working against me, my guy, uh, please, okay, Whew. I'm also just terrified to fight him in the ring, because, uh, anything could just be my death, so, uh, oh, there you go, um, yeah, fuck it, come on, man, come on, man, come on, man, come on, man, oh, I'm just gonna pin him. I did the unprettier on the fucking on on the table. Oh, he's throwing me off. Oh, he's throwing me off. Oh no. Oh, woo! We retained our title, baby. Let's fucking go. Um, I did the unprettier through the table. Just pretend he went through the table. Um, in in the actual uh, match, it, it would have been him uh, doing a diving splash from the top rope to the outside through the table. Um. But I, I don't know if that works in this game, so I uh, just tried to do the I'm prettier. And that didn't work either, so just pretend just pretend that happened. Um, other than that, you know, just a, just a banger of a 30-minute match between Undertaker and Christian. Christian retaining clean. Edge comes out to celebrate with him after, putting um, to rest any worries about tensions between them. Um, they, they, you know, tensions flared a little bit late earlier in the night after losing the tag team titles, but uh, it's still all love. It's still all love between Christian and Edge, and they celebrate together uh, as Christian retains his championship successfully against The Undertaker at the Great American Bash to end off the show. Let's see how many fans we won from that show. Probably like two. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll see morale and shit. We'll see the fatigue. If there's an injury, I'm going to kill myself. And, uh, and, then, and then we'll just move from there, bro. Move from there, bro.
Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna have to go buy a noose, uh, cause we got, uh... Not to worry yet. These The trainers have reported that Christian has suffered a minor injury. This injury will not prevent the superstar from competing, but they do not recommend taking it. Uh, the doctor gave the diagnosis of back spasms and cleared the superstar to complete. Uh, how many fans did we get? I wasn't paying attention because I fucking I didn't give a shit. Oh, we have more fans than Raw now. We must have gotten a shit ton of fans from that. What the fuck? How many fans did we get? Oh, 500k. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Um, two weeks. Whoo! Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Cause like, listen, I I just want to show you the schedule, right? We got SummerSlam right fucking there. Uh so uh, if if he would have had like, he's got to defend the title at SummerSlam, man. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's see how the show did, man. We got a three star. This was two and a half. Um. That's it, really? Okay. Uh, this being two kind of makes sense because they're both in the 60s, so that's fine. This being two and a half because of Charlie Haas is unfortunate, but Charlie Haas is on the up, so hopefully that won't be a thing anymore. Uh, this being three with Grenier in it, kind of bringing it down is fine. This being three is fine because they're both in like mid-70s. Um, and then this being three and a half is kind of unfortunate because there's a rivalry going in. Christian's 87, Undertaker was 82, world title, main event, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Um... All right, we got, uh, let's see who Raw has, by the way. Did they, did they have, uh, which Basham do they have? They have Doug. So Danny was on the free agents. Cool. I don't give a fuck, though. Actually, I do want to see their popularities. Triple H is the, da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our current champions right here. Bada boom, bada bing. I just want to, I feel like somebody left. No, nobody left. Cool. Okay. I was worried that uh, Conway left because he had... Oh, my God. Look at all those morales. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Conway wants the gold. Benoit. <laughs> Fuckhead. You weren't even on the show, Jericho. Oh, my fucking God. You just lost Eddie. <laughs> my fucking ball sack my fucking ball sack hurts bruh from this stupidity did fucking charlie Haas get a plus six wasn't he like 37 plus three for the titles so a plus three for the win all right cool i want to fucking rip my nutsack off my body man Eddie just lost and jericho wasn't even on the fucking pay-per-view and then the pay-per-view happened they're like hey yo title match Benoit, you haven't done anything in singles, title match. Uh, fucking Mohamed Hassan over here with uh, title match. Like, uh, I don't even know what that noise was. I'm just upset. Um, we've got Christian right here at, uh, what is that, four bar? Four bar fatigue. We got uh, Edge at like three bar fatigue. Um, so... There you go, because they pulled double duty. Do we have any other fatigues? No. Okay, so um, we got uh, we got that morale. We got that uh, Benoit. We got that Jericho. We've got that content right there. We've got so we have to deal with this shit. We have to deal with Conway wanting a title shot. Uh, Hassan kind of makes sense. He just won the King of the Ring, but actually he didn't. He won the SmackDown final. He still has to uh, have a match against Batista. So uh, he won a big match though at a pay per view. So it kind of makes sense that he wants a title shot, um, especially because he's on a winning streak of uh four um so yeah um cool okay popularities uh christian 84 i guess because he lost the plus three from the um tag title Rene dupree 84 kurt angle 82 undertaker 82 eddie 77 hassan 73 benoit 72 jericho 71 edge 71 randy 66 hurricane 61 rvd 61 conway 60 Grenier 59 ray 58 shelton benjamin 58 davari 54 paul london 46 charlie house 43 and then tajiri at a 22 there uh, we'll do contracts after the SmackDown that's coming up. Fucking Christian getting hurt, man. What is that? Um, he didn't even, like... <sighs> like, why? There was no fucking, like, gimmick match or nothing. It was just double duty. 
come on, man. He was he was fucking fresh going in and everything too. Anyways, those are the tag team champions that changed right there, and then the other titles stayed the same. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, man, without further ado, uh, it's time to end off the episode. But first, I will tell you what the match card is for next week. Uh, we've got a five-card match card, not a six-card. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, we, uh, we're we going to be starting things off with... Um uh, uh, RVD versus Tajiri is going to be the match to start things off on the August 2nd SmackDown. Um, I will tell you right now... Um, uh, should I save it for... I don't know. Um, we're doing... Uh, yeah, I'll save it. Whatever. RVD versus Tajiri is the start of the show. I'll explain why at the at the, at the at the beginning of the episode next time. Um, then we have Muhammad Hassan versus a local competitor. There is a promo segment that accompanies it. The local is... Uh, it's a strategic thing. Just, just stay tuned for that. Uh, we got Ray versus Paul London in the next match. The match after that, we've got Rene Dupree versus Eddie Guerrero. And then in the main event of the evening, we have our rematch for the Tag Team Championships. World's Greatest Tag Team versus Edge and Christian. There is also promo stuff with them as well. There's promo stuff with Dupree and Eddie and Benoit and all that stuff. So stay tuned for all of that. So there you go, man. Um, that Eddie and Dupree match, I might have to make it a bullshit, stupid fucking US title shot just to get everybody fucking shutting the fuck up but um yeah in the kayfabe it's it's dupree and eddie though so anyways um yeah there you go all right that's the end of the great american bash episode hope you guys enjoyed it um if this is the first video that you're watching from the series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video, as well as a link to my uh, 2K14, 30 Years of WrestleMania. I'm also doing TNA Impact. Go check that out. Um, the uploads for those have been kind of non-existent over the past couple of weeks. I've just had a really busy fucking... Um, my, my car was fucking shit, so I had to get my car fixed, and I had to go to work a bunch, and all that stuff. Life life just stinks right now. Hopefully, sooner or later, I'll get back to daily uploads. I don't know when that'll be, um, but I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it might just be the GM modes for a little bit um, until I can kind of get things back into a constant schedule because I've been kind of in and out of a weird schedule. Like, it's not a consistent, like, every day I have this. It's just kind of, yeah, I don't know. Um, but if I can get my uh, shit back on a consistent schedule, like my life, um, there, then then we can get back to that. But for now, it might just be GM modes. I don't know. Um, anyways, um, yeah, go check out the other series. Um, if you want to join the Discord server for the channel, link in the description. If you want to follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Uh, please sponsor me, P of course uh be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because youtube likes to zuck your boy and not put my videos in your sub boxes so by pressing that nice old bell icon you will get a push notification anytime i do upload and you'll never have to miss it and uh yeah man hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe share it with all your friends comment down below all that good shit and i'll see you guys next time